Hey there everybody, Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another episode of What's Up with Sea of Tranquility. It's Wednesday, new review day here on the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the ninth studio album from a band from Denmark who have been around for a long time. They've only been releasing records or albums since the early 2000s, but they've actually been together as a band for well before that. Um, the band is called Anibus Gate. The album is called Interference. Got quite a lot of gear glare there there we go and this uh is on no dust records right that's their new record label they were on nightmare record lance king's nightmare records for quite a while uh and then early in their career they were on locomotive records before locomotive records went belly up so let's take a look at this one here uh, there you go and the booklet tell you they've got each member of the band there there they all are lyrics and stuff and uh, let's see produced and mixed by Kim Olison drum recordings and drum mixed by Jacob Hansen mastered by Jacob Hansen of course he's worked with a lot of power and progressive metal bands right recorded at Sphere Honrik and Hansen Studios Cover artwork and layout by Nikos uh, Marco Giannakis, something like that. So, all right, who's in the band? So we've got uh, Henrik Fev, I don't know how he says his name, F-E-V-R-E, Favor, Favor, on vocals, bass, sax, additional keyboards, Kim Olison on guitars, keyboards, additional vocals, Michael Bowden, guitar, additional keyboards, and Morten Gade Sorensen on drums. And uh, this album is dedicated to the memory of Jesper Moller Jensen, who uh, was one of their founding members who passed away back in uh, 2020. So this uh, album that they've been working on, you know, again, you hear this all too often lately, of uh, albums that were started in like 2019, 2020, and then the pandemic hit, and it kind of, you know, has delayed things and whatnot. So here this is coming out in 2023. Uh, their last album, uh, Covered in Colors, was came out in early 2020, and before that they had Covered in Black in 2017. So, uh, you know, it took them a couple of years to get this finished up and released, but uh, it is here. Well, one of the interesting things, so I've been kind of following these guys, um, not religiously over the years, but I, I have a handful of their albums. I don't have all of them, and I just seem to every couple of years I, you know, pick up a new Anibus Gate album. So I have a few, and I've always really liked their sound. It's like if you can describe Anibus Gate, they're they're a progressive metal band, but they have lots of uh, power metal tendencies as well. I think of kind of like Dream Theater meets Camelot meets Queensrÿche. Uh, that sort of thing. Very, very musical and melodic. Their, their songs, their albums always are littered with lots of hooks. And what the interesting thing is, too, and, you know, I guess because I haven't kept up with them so, you know, consistently over the years, I kind of forget that these guys have been around for so long. And it's like when you listen to this album, and again, you know, you, you look at the picture of them, all right, they're probably, you know, maybe uh, a little bit younger than me, right? You know? not quite an old timer like me but they sound like a really young band like if you if, you, if you've never listened to Anibus Gate before and you put on this record uh, you would say that they're probably like a, a young bunch of guys in their 20s because the, the the way the music is laid out the vocals everything just screams young hungry band but actually they're veterans who have been around for a long long time so and, and his lead vocals are just really really good and again he sounds like someone who's probably 20 years younger than him or more um, and it's just really strong Strong vocals, there's hooks all over the place on these songs. And this is, like I said, it's a nice blend of like progressive metal and power metal. Uh, you get lots of symphonic stuff with the, with the synths and keyboards. Uh, there's lots of good chugging riffs. There is plenty of dexterity on the musical front there, but it's not, it doesn't hit you over the head like every song. Got to have all these solos and all that stuff. A lot of ambiance and atmosphere. Uh, you get a good balance of songs. They're a little more kind of mid-tempo and atmospheric with lots of keys. Uh, and then you got some of the more balls-out rockers, and you got some of the ones that are just a, a bit more... Uh, um, like melodic and accessible in nature. For me, uh, I really like some of my favorites on here. Equations, track number five, which is really good. It's one of the heavier tracks on here. Uh, it's very kind of like progressive metal with a really cool chorus. And then they do a little thing we have with like some some harsh vocals combating the, uh, the the clean melodic vocals on the chorus. 
although you know there's nothing death metal here at all it's just like kind of like my thrashy more guttural vocal style and that's really the only song you hear it on here the rest of the album is just filled with those you know soaring melodic vocals uh I, you know Emergence, Ignorance is Bliss, and Number Stations, and The Phoenix, which are the first four tracks on there. Just one song after another, just littered with hooks. Very, very catchy stuff. Uh, I also really like um, The World of Clay is another kind of really cool churning power metal one. Like I said, there's a couple tracks on here that are so like kind of cool and symphonic. They remind me of uh, maybe a little bit more atmospheric Camelot style, right? Really, really good. But uh, 10 tracks in all. Production's really good. Like I said, if you like progressive metal with a you know with that borders on power metal with lots of hooks and just enough you know musical fireworks to really kind of sink your teeth into uh this is really good the vocals are outstanding so yeah anibus gate interference like i said they've got eight other albums uh, i've got a few of them they're all really good quality band check it out if you've heard it let us know what you think down in the comments below if you haven't go out and investigate and then let us know what you think and uh this is on the web at www.catranquility.org we're on facebook we're on youtube all together all the damn time please subscribe if you haven't already click on that notification bell so you get alerted of all of our content as it posts and please do hit the like button before you leave also down below we get the links to our ko-fi page for channel donations as well as our merch page also information on uh the cameo account if you are interested in uh like a personalized video for me that's where you go to do that. So thanks in advance for all your support, folks. And we'll see you here with more reviews. Should have a uh, new King Cobra today uh, and a few others. Got a whole bunch that I'm trying to get to this week. So uh, I'm, I'm very, very close to being all caught up with all of my uh, new album reviews uh, before more come in, right? So uh, stay tuned. So see you soon. I'm P. Pardo. Bye-bye.